Bazite, the next generation of Linux gaming is here. And this is really cool. It's like my own Steam machine. I have a home theater PC, which I'll link up here to uh, where I reviewed this mini PC. It's already an A3. It's an APU 7840HS AMD processor. Let's just say it's not a great computer for gaming, but we're going to use it like we use a Steam Deck. And that's kind of cool. And I did the entire setup live on stream for the very first time. So if you want to see the very first impressions, I'll put a link down below. But... I want to just show you this because it's so cool. It brings gaming to the masses and makes it easier than Windows in a lot of ways. And a lot of people are like, wait a second, Linux gaming is, you know, uh, hard and all these other things. You normally, you know, I probably agree with you. A lot of times Linux gaming is harder than Windows, but not with Bazite. And one, just to silence those things because I hear people running in the background going, oh, I can't believe you, Titus. Helldivers 2 on my Arch Linux install does this. Just, just to show you some bugs that happen in, in Linux gaming. But if a distro is set up to run as a gaming box, it can work extremely well. As Stream Deck has shown, well, Bazite kind of picks this up. So you can see right here, it's broken, something with InProtect, blah, blah, blah. It just... I'll troubleshoot it. There'll probably be some option I can add to the thing, or maybe I'll download some other thing. It, it, it's complex. I get it. And I don't want to make you go, uh, I'll just stay on Windows. I want to show you this because it's kind of amazing. Here's the startup. And as it starts up, I'm kind of like, okay, pretty cool. And we can flip around. It's exactly like a Steam Deck, but I want to show you the settings menu because this is no Steam Deck. I've put this directly on my TV as well. I'll put a, uh, actually photos because my wife loves using this little home theater box to play like Hi-Fi Rush. I thought that's kind of cool. And the HDR worked right out of the box. So I was kind of blown away by the display scaling and HDR working as well as it did without me having to do anything. So this is what I'm rocking right now. <laughs> it's this Steam version right here this entire build everything it's using the 7840hs with uh 780m graphics here's the frequency eight cores 16 threads and ram has about 32 gigs but there's no external gpu on it and this is just what we kind of have it's it's kind of crazy and the vram is only four gigs but i wanted to just show a stock setting without me messing with anything and uh, let's hit Helldivers because Helldivers, as you saw on my regular system, it just kind of bombed out. Now, this game is a little more demanding and using it through an APO is not recommended. However, I've kind of just set it up and it works. Here comes the launch. And let's see what we get. Do we get the InProtect error? There's the start screen. I'm going to just fast forward through this. And you'll notice right off, I've done some optimizations for it being an APU. If you're going to game without a graphics card, expect graphics to not look the best. But I basically took the Steam Deck and I was like, okay, Steam Deck runs at 800p. I'm going to crank this box to about a 720p. That way I can get 60 frames per second, which I don't think Helldivers 2 gets 60 frames on the Steam Deck. But the cool thing is we have all the same controls over here. And let's put in a little bit of performance settings. Okay, great. And I'm gonna just jump in and run a quick game here. Now I don't have any sound going, but if we, let's say we wanted sound, let's see what we can do here. Trying to do this in a Linux instance, probably not the smartest idea. But look at that. Live sound change. That's just crazy. <laughs> oh my word. All right. Well, I think we could easily say this is pretty darn cool. Uh, <laughs> got two kills. Watch out, I carried this team. But uh, I was just kind of blown away with how good 
everything feels right out of the gate. It feels like a console using an actual PC, much like the Steam Deck. It feels just like that. Almost all of it is here. If you need to get to the desktop to do kind of a customization, you still have that switch to desktop option just like you did. And I want to show a couple things on the desktop real fast because I thought those were really interesting. But before we do that, on the settings page, if you want to update the system, you can actually just go, you know what? Let's go ahead and apply those updates. And what it does is it goes in the back end, updates the whole Bazite, Steam Deck, all of it, uh, OS, and makes this exactly up to date with all the latest patches without breaking anything, which is amazing. And even more so, they have this you can load on Steam Deck. And I might actually just wipe out my Steam Deck OS and roll Bazite on my Steam Deck as well, because I do like a lot of the customizations, the latest kernels, uh, a lot of the latest drivers. So you get a little bit more performance than your typical stable release from Steam Deck. And the beauty of it is everything's kind of done through these OCI images. So it's all immutable, meaning you can't really break the system uh, doing anything. And we'll get on the desktop and use their package manager. Now, a lot of people know Fedora-based systems use like DNF package managers. This one, DNF's there, but it doesn't really work because it's an immutable file system. You really need to use something called uJust. And uJust is really cool because you can do ImmuDec, you can do Decky Loader, you can do all these things that you usually would do to pimp out your Steam Deck. Well, they just made it a lot easier using Bazite. And it's really neat, the integration they have. You don't see like Grub Menu or anything traditional that you would see in most Linux distros. They really built this to basically emulate Steam OS on a PC. All right, we're coming back up. And we're back. All right, do we have, we have our controller working now. So what I'm gonna do, let's just loop boot. And I'm using the controller to basically manage everything for now. But as we switch the desktop, I kind of want to show some of the more Linuxy desktop features that some gamers might want to use. So we'll have our regular keyboard and mouse. They have a really neat terminal. PTYXS is what this one's called. And I'm just going to take this and we're going to zoom in just a hair. Here's the commands that it has. You got to have NeoFetch. That's just, just so cool. But you just is the main package manager and look at all the built-in options here. You can do auto update. You can do a virtualization Wadroid is here. Now, obviously this is, is going to require some bit of tinkering around, but after seeing all this, I'm like, I love all these options. I wish almost every Linux distro gave these types of options right out of the gate, but you can install like Open Razor, which is a great open source utility to manage Razor gaming appliances. It's really meant for those gamers out there that want to switch to Linux, but are afraid to. They, they go, oh, you know what? I really don't want to mess with so much of the technicals. But if you're just using your PC for gaming and all your games have Linux compatibility, this could be a game changer. This could be the console for the PC. As most games have Linux compatibility, they just require some tinkering. And one thing I want to point out is like the Git Emu Deck. That's one thing that almost everybody does on Steam Deck, which is great. They also have Decky here too. So if you're trying to do Decky Loader, you can actually do that through uJust. So I've already actually installed Emu Deck on this system, but I want to actually show that but at the same time, I also want to install Decky Loader as well. So let's just try real fast. What happens if we just go, you just set up Decky. It's not installed. So let's hit install Decky. We'll put in our password and it's installed. Decky Loader is now on your system. Same thing kind of goes for Deck too. Since I've already installed it, let's exit out. I just wanted to show that package manager where I thought it was unique. You could also download flat packs and other things that you normally would do in like a Linux environment, even like Zero AD and other open source games, maybe Tuxcart, if that's your thing. But I want to return to gaming mode and kind of show you Deck, uh, specifically just launching an emulation station and showing that. So I could install all my games, but I have a pretty extensive emulation library. And what I want to do here is just 
showcase a few things like let's go like PlayStation 2 emulation. This is something like a Pi couldn't handle. Well, we'll go ahead and grab like Fatal Frame, one of my wife's favorite games of all time. And you'll notice there's still some things like launching full screen mode. Uh, we could we could fix that and some little tweaks to emu deck you can make. We'll just go new game. Now to show the sound here again, I like the sound on the fly. Now I'm using a little bit of a weird capture device. That's why it's it's not really liking a lot of the change. You can't hear it, right? So let's let's change the audio. We'll do it on the fly. I mean, it's so cool. So you can play your old game. And you can upscale this. You can do a lot of things with it as well. Oh, man. So cool. But we're just going to... We're going to exit right back out. And we're get back on the main screen. And I got a few things here. Like, uh, probably my favorite game of all time. Like, Final Fantasy 3. I absolutely love this one. And we got the, the classic intro for Final Fantasy 3 with the organ music here. Oh, it just never gets old. I still love it to this day. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm having too much fun here. I need to quit wrap up this video and just kind of give you my final thoughts because there's just so much cool stuff that you can do with Bazite and I see a future with the like the ultimate Steam machine that is built by a Linux community and an immutable distro like it's packaged in Bazite. That's not perfect. There's been a few things specifically like launching Dolphin and Wii emulation can be a little bit hit and miss. So I, I'll mess around with that a little more. I've also had some power management issues. Where like, let's say I leave it on for an extended period of time. I've had a couple lockups. Sometimes when I go to turn it off, it doesn't turn off all the way uh, and I have to go and hard power it off. But that's about it from the con side of things. Those little things for such a new project uh, is not bad. They've polished this thing to an extent that no other Linux distro out there, I think I would recommend to, to a gamer, except for maybe this one. This is insane. I hope you guys enjoy it. Try out Bazite. And if you look on the main screen here, the download button from the, like the official Bazite website, the cool thing about picking out your hardware, how do you want to use it? If you want to use it like a home theater PC, you want KDE, and you have an AMD as your main GPU, you just say, hey, I want to use it like a Steam machine. It'll recommend Bazite Deck. Or if you say no, it'll just recommend download regular Bazite if you want to just get kicked to a desktop without going directly into the Steam Deck type interface. And this is really good. And if you're using like an NVIDIA card for your PC, you can switch that out and then it automatically loads all those drivers. This takes out all the guesswork that you have in Linux. Even a, a veteran like me, I still run into problems when I, I'm messing around in Linux with certain things and having a, a team of gamers uh, on the Bazite team here, all these people, this, this is the people that made it happen. And they're sitting there gaming every day. And when they find things wrong, they go ahead and tweak the system so it works easily for you so you don't have to spend any time tinkering. And I think that's amazing. I Will I run this for my main system? Maybe. I mean, I, you, know, you know, it's been almost a month now. And you know me, I like to reload my system every month. <laughs> and, and this looks like a fun challenge to see if I could use it for an entire uh, as my main box. Will I do it? I don't know. Maybe, maybe on another drive. We'll see. We'll see. But with that, let me know your thoughts down in the comments. And I'll see you in the next one.